Well, hello there, guys. Welcome to some Ultimate General Civil War. We're going to be jumping in here um, with the Union on the Battle of Malvern Hill. So it's actually been a while since I've played, but I'm really looking forward to it. This is a game I spent a lot of time on. If you haven't seen my other Let's Play videos on this game, definitely take a look in my playlist. It's probably one of the biggest ones and also available right there on the channel dashboard. So we're going to go with Brigadier General difficulty. I think that's only fair. Um, and at this point, we are going to be playing with the Union, so we should have to defend Malvern Hill from the Confederacy. This is a pretty trying time for the Union. After the Battle of Gaines Mill, General McClellan has been convinced that the Peninsula Campaign cannot last any longer. The main camp of the Union Army has been set up at Harrison's Landing to prepare for the withdrawal. Under the safety of the Ironclads, General McClellan organized his last resort defense at Malvern Hill. General Lee gambled and decided to attack the heavily fortified position attempting to bring a decisive end to the Union operations near Richmond. All right, guys, so we will be playing with the Federals, the Union, at this point. The Rebels are determined to defend their capital, and our army cannot take any more beating. They are chasing us. Let's see what we've got left over here. The bulk of the Union Expeditionary Force has no more strength to continue. The majority of our army is embarking at Harrison's Landing a few miles to the south. We must hold our positions on Malvern Hill until we finalize a tactical withdrawal. I see some pretty nice woods on top of that hill that look like they're going to be really fun to use against the enemy. But it's telling me the best ground to defend is at Malver Malvern Hill's northern section. Our artillery can see a wide area of open ground and butcher any incoming infantry attack. That's true, but we're also pretty much out in the open. It'd be crazy if the rebels decided to attack the west side of Malvern Hill through swamps and such steep ground, but we must be cautious. So this can certainly occur as well. I want to be very careful about that. And we can consider that the west side's safe from assaults too, as the small river and high cliffs should discourage an attack. Maybe, maybe not. So really the main force is going to be right there at Malvern Hill. <clears throat> we must expect the main force, the main rebel force to come from this direction. That hilltop can be used to bombard our lines, so prepare for counter fire. Okay. So I think we just want to set our boys up there as soon as possible. We need an over artillery battery to oversee this hill area. The Confederates may use the trees for concealment to advance and attack us. All too true, it's recommended you stand your ground and not attempt to move away from Malvern Hill. We hold a superior defensive position, so we should wait for them to attack. Couldn't have said it better myself. I think the only thing I'm probably going to change is we know the enemy is going to try and get into this section, so I might send one of our Union groups out here. Uh, that's going to be Buchanan's group and see if we can't just set him up over here in the woods. Uh, pretty much just prepare for the enemy. We can actually even order this guy to double quick, so I'm going to do that. Not something I would recommend in general, but you know what? Occasionally, it can definitely be useful. Let's keep Porter back here. Get that morale boost. Oh, boy. Might already be under fire here. And sure enough, it's actually our artillery firing off the enemy. You know what I might actually do? I don't think we're going to be able to make it all the way over there. And if we do, we're probably going to take a nasty hit on the way. So I'm going to keep this guy here as sort of a stopgap. It's just going to put... I'm going to put Buchanan in these woods... And any Confederate forces approaching will open fire. Eventually, we'll have to retreat with them, but I think we'll at least give the enemy a taste of their own medicine. Consistent fire. Hey, Lion, Icon Rostov, and Officer Donut. How you doing, guys? Civil War, Total War. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be pretty cool if, uh, with the Officer Donut name, you uh, your name is quite similar to a YouTuber I watch a lot, a donut operator. Uh, I think he's an officer, too. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... Yeah, we're just holding our position. There's no point in moving. I really would have liked to get Buchanan over here, but that's not going to happen. The problem is, look at that. Anderson is already thinking about going up there. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, I'm going to try to take Bernie. We're going to move him out of this position and bring him over here to Buchanan's location. I think the enemy is going to send tombs right up the center, uh, but hopefully we can stop him. We can see that this attack is all over the damn place, but of course the area they have to take is right there. So we don't want to get too crazy. We don't want to play their game for them which would mean pretty much, you know, doing everything we can to get up on that hill, get around them. No, we need to hold our positions. Uh, if they get on that hill, oh well. It's, it's not going to be great, but as long as they don't get artillery up there, I think we'll be all right. The One! Hello, sir! Good to see you guys, man. Um, for those of you here, have you noticed that the, the stream quality is a little better? I mean, I'm asking, actually, uh, because we got some new internet. 
So I'm hoping that the stream quality is greatly improved. And sure enough, Riley's up there on the hill. We're going to have to consistently fire at Riley. I wish there was an easier way across, but unfortunately, the only way across is going to be right there. All right. Sorry, right, there was C. Hit that location. Last thing we need is enemy artillery firing on top of us. But at the same time, the enemy infantry uh, looks pretty deadly. So we're going to send Buchanan out. I'm going to have him stand his ground right there at the edge of the woods. And we should be getting those volleys off pretty damn soon. Come on, Buchanan. Let him have it. Come on now. That's what I'm talking about. We've got that defensive bonus. But, of course, just in terms of manpower, they're probably going to overrun us. Uh, we can retreat with Buchanan whenever we feel like it. I just don't think it's necessarily a good idea right now. However, with that group coming up, Jones, etc., we better do something. So I'm going to double-quick Bernie up here, and I'm going to see if I can't fire at Jones as he's trying to cross this um, this crossing area here. Come on now. Come on, Bernie. They're going to get that flank shot on, um, on Buchanan, and of course that's going to do a tremendous amount of damage. So let's see if we can't mitigate some of that damage and knock down as many of the Confederates here in this canal area as possible. They're going to charge Buchanan. I'm holding my ground, and Buchanan did get a volley there at the last second. Not sure how, what kind of a difference that's going to make. Unfortunately, the Confederates do have a charge bonus, so they could definitely break through here. We got Hood coming through as well. How? Fire at Hood. Let's hope that at least some of our boys can hold out against Confederate assault. All right, nice. Hood is down. Let's have Bernie fire over here. Unfortunately, Buchanan is not. I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to fall back. Just for the sake of our men, we'll fall back. We force Hood to retreat. A few dead Confederates over there by those townhouses. So you know what? Let's take what we've got. Let's take what we can get, especially. And with Derussi, I'm going to actually switch fire over here. I think he's got some shell shot in him. McCarthy, fire over there. And when I have that many Confederates all together, or, or you know, even if I'm playing as the Confederates, if i got that many Union soldiers all together, I'm going to fire at that location with shell shot. Looks like pretty standard round shot. I mean, that can certainly kill a man, but yeah, we definitely were hoping for the shell shot. And it looks like Barksdale is getting real up close and personal here. We've got, we've got plenty of reinforcements back here if we need to bring them forward. But I'm hoping that our sharpshooters and... Um, our artillery can deal with these guys on their own. We'll do a little pause here. I'll see. Thank you, the one. And <laughs> thanks, bud. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, I think it's too late, too, Lion. I think you, you, you nailed it. It's going to be really tough for us to take that hill. All right, got Barksdale moving back. Only 20 seconds left in this part of the mission. I'm guessing they're going to have to bring up some reinforcements because I think we stopped them. I can't say for sure yet. I hate the fact that they've got that artillery up there on the hill. And it looks like, sure enough, the rebels advance. Confederates seem prepared for a general attack. Brace yourselves. All right. So they're going all out at this point. Uh, you can see the amount of manpower they've got here. They're going to do everything they can to knock us out of the fight. And I'm going to put up a fight. No, Bernie, don't. No, no, no. Get back into cover. Get back into cover, son. All right, you know what? If he could fire, I'm going to let him go ahead and do that. Let's see what kind of weapons Bernie's using here. So just a standard M1855 Springfield. This is the standard weapon of the time. I think our sharpshooters will have something more fancy. Yeah, that's a Sharps .52 rifle. That's definitely a very nice uh, smooth bore. Rifle, I believe, just really wonderful shots there. They're going to hit the target. And if you're a sharpshooter, that's exactly the kind of rifle you need. And I'm wondering if we should take Butterfield, push him up over here and flank the enemy. But game recommended us to stay put, and I tend to think that that's a good idea right here. Actually, let me keep chatting here just in case the enemy attacks us on that flank. Uh, I'll try to move Weed forward. And maybe we'll get Buchanan over here in the woods. I don't know. I think we'll, we got Bernie there already. We got this other guy here. Maybe we should just stay put. What I don't like is the MacGruber boys heading over here to the top of the hill. They can get some pretty good shots down on us if they feel like it. 
Come on, boys, for the union. All right, they've routed Whedon. We didn't want that to happen. Whedon is uh, one of our artillery uh, commanders. So we're going to move up Martindale here. It's a one-star general. Actually, it might be a colonel. Let's go ahead and open fire. Try to make it into these woods. So we'll double quick into the woods while these guys hold the fence. Hopefully the enemy will focus on Martindale, and that gives our boys at the fence more time to fire down on Semen Tombs. I told you Tombs was going to be a problem. This guy, anytime I've faced the Confederates, uh, I've always had issues with Tombs. And it looks like uh, Hill. It's not AP Hill, it's DH Hill? I don't know who DH Hill. AP Hill is my favorite Confederate general. Uh, but it looks like DH Hill is, is arriving with his men. Let's go ahead and fire at these guys in the cornfield. Come on now, boys. Give them Hellweed. I'm going to go ahead and order the sharpshooters to focus fire here on Sem. I really want to see if we can knock him out. But he's getting some great shots on Martindale here. Some concave fire because they're both facing him. I'm just going to let Martindale get at least one volley out. There we go. Let those sharpshooters take some shots too. Let him have it, boys. Fire at will. And some canister shot, perhaps. All right, we got Huger's division, and that's definitely canister shot. That's what we need. Now, believe it or not, the enemy in the cornfield, they actually do get a defensive bonus. That cornfield's a really nice place to hide. Being said, we got Anderson to pull back. That means that our right flank is doing okay, guys. If the enemy wants to go crazy, they can try to attack over here on the east, but um, they would have to get all the way over here, so I don't think we should be too concerned about the hill. The most frustrating part about being on top of that hill is that they get to fire down on us with artillery. But it's going to take a whole hell of a lot of artillery to knock all the boys off uh, off this area. So I'm going to hold out for now. This boy should be firing. Come on now. Guy's taking a break in the middle of a battle. Here we go. More canister shot. And Sims boys are running back. A lot of Confederates there down on the field. If we could just get another shot, I think we need one more volley to send them running. There we go. Oh, they're still holding out, man. That's uh, surprising, to say the least. So we're going to go ahead and order all of our artillery to fire on that position. Most of it, anyway. But I want Martindale here to use his next volley on Sim, and then I'm going to have Martindale pull back. Volley. Eh, come on, Martindale. Better than that, son. All right, we're going to pull him back. So again, I like to sort of uh, trick our enemy into moving forward a bit. And at that point, we can lay waste with our artillery. They'll be focusing on our infantry, and we should be able to get rid of them. Unfortunately, Captain Stephen Weed was killed there uh, by some sort of Confederate uh, round. At least he fought bravely. Let's give him a volley in memory of Captain Weed. Nice. Got some shell shot there. Take a look here at the chat. Hey, Texas Spirit. How you doing, bud? Hello, Jack Hobbs. Bubble Box. Looking forward to Ultimate Admiral. Admiral? Uh, yeah, man, I definitely am. Uh, the only reason our already are in the front line in this case, Bubble Box, is so we can get the canister shot. In general, though, not a good idea. But we're pretty much right up against the back of the of the area here, so I'm I'm allowing them to go a little crazy. Let's put it that way. But yeah, we should not have been there. That's definitely true. As for Getty and McCarthy, I think they're in they're, they're in a fine spot. As long as Tombs doesn't come over here. There we go. And I'm glad we got some people here in the chat that like uh, Ultimate General um, Civil War. The reason I played it is we got a comment a few days ago um, saying, Hey man, I really missed this game. Is it possible you could upload a video soon? So keep in mind, guys, if if you let me know in the comments like that you want something, <laughs> if, it's, if it's feasible... Uh, I'll do it. I definitely will. Got to stay away from series for now because we got three series going on. But in terms of standard battle videos, etc., um, I can definitely do that. Let's get Griffin up a bit. It's all out here. He's missing out on the fight. Let's see if Griffin can just get a quick shot on Tombs, especially since Jones, Rhodes, and Garland are coming to reinforce this group. Got to get rid of them. Come on now, boys. Griffin, let him have it. 
I think we're going to have some cover here, at least the left side. Yeah, we're going to get a little bit of cover. There we go. Beautiful. Griffin, of course, though, taking nasty hits here. But we're getting flanking shots with this unit. And in fact, I'm going to move Bernie over here to try and get a flank attack on Jones. And despite Jones not having many men in his group, you can see there it's a two-star. Uh, this is a this this group has definitely seen combat. It's a veteran combat group. So we want to be careful. Don't let the numbers fool you. Here we go, boys. Yeah, there we go. All right, let the numbers fool you. They ran, he ran away on the first volley. That being said, with that many men, I'd do the same thing. Rhodes. Griffin, stay put. Griffin was about to charge uh, Fulkerson there, and we didn't give him the okay yet. So I'm going to have him just stay, stay put for now. If the enemy wants to charge us, let them lose some men on the run. All right, watch Kershaw, Butterfield. Well, that's definitely a Confederate general you want to keep your eye on. Nope, nope, nope. Keep Abercrombie here. All right, we're going to fall back here with Bernie. Give him the canister shot. There we go. I'm worried about friendly fire in that situation, but I think we'll be all right. Get out of here, Fulkerson. Save your men. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Nobody can beat a federal volley. I'm just going to keep keep giving it to him. He refuses to retreat. A ton of dead Confederates over here, including shell holes. We are turning this into an utter nightmare. In fact, that might bring Hayes up. No, I think we'll keep these guys back. Uh, Chapman's got to stay put too, but I will move the supplies forward. Just because I know eventually we're going to need them. Especially with this much ammunition flying down range. We're going to run out of ammo really quickly. Oh boy, that's not good. How you got to get back into your position. We're going to send Bernie to hold Howe's position. But that artillery is really starting to affect us, guys. So they just continue to fire on Howe, and eventually that's why Howe broke. As far as I know, he didn't actually engage or get engaged by any Confederate uh, infantry. That was pure artillery right there. All right, there we go. We got Tombs on the route. I'm going to save these guys and fall back with Griffin. He completed his task, which is to move Tombs back. Highly aggressive general, by the way. Um, and at this point, we'll just stay put. If they keep their distance, I don't mind staying put and having a gunfight. All right, look at that shell shot. That's got to hurt, man. Hello, Blenzalot. Canister shot, yes. Best single-player RTS war game out in the last few years is Bubble Box. I really, um, I mean, I don't, I don't agree totally. I think there are probably some other ones, but um, I think you make a good point. There's uh, even the art style about this game. I don't know if this is just me, but I love it. Like, I love this art style. It, it looks like I'm looking into, like, an old history book with, uh, with paintings, you know. It gives me, like, a whole different sense of realism, and I think that's really important. There's so many strategy games out there, or just games in general, that pretty much, like, um, piggyback off, like, the, you know, the graphics of another game or the success of another game. You know, it looks very similar. The mechanics are very similar. Um, I'm not going to name what games do this, but Company of Heroes is a great example of a game that is copied over and over again in all these different iterations. And I love to see games like Ultimate General Civil War that truly are original. You know, this is not seen any other games, um, just, you know, except for games from this particular publisher um, that, that have this kind of art style, that have this approach. I think it's really cool. Even taking, like, a third-person approach like they've done here is kind of risky. Uh, but it seems to have worked out for them. <clears throat> Come on, Martindale. Send Ripley back to hell. All right, let's see if Butterfield's still getting shots on Kershaw. Is he? Yeah, we had to order him to actually take the shot. There we go. And I'm going to move Martindale up here because this area is getting a bit thin. And there's a lot of rebels there on the horizon. I hate the fact that they're in the woods there. We could potentially charge and move them out, but I think that's a bit risky. All right, Martindale. Full volley. <sighs> Butterfield's falling back. That's not good. We're going to have to take Chapman. Reinforce the line. We'll take Griffin back here and put him in Chapman's location. I was about to move the supplies up, but I see now that those supplies are right there. They aren't going anywhere. 
look at the massive group of rebels over here. If they wanted to, they could head around here and try and get behind us, but it doesn't look like they're in it. They're not in the fight for for the big win. They just kind of are going to stay there, I think. We lost a lot of boys right there. The left flank. Definitely some really good shooting by Kershaw's men. And like I said, Kershaw is an experienced general. Um, this guy knows what he's doing. If you've read anything about the American Civil War, you're going to you're gonna hear Lee. You're going to hear Kershaw. You're probably going to hear Jubilee early, uh, Jackson, etc. These are pretty much sort of the best of the best of the, uh, of the Confederacy. And I think it goes without saying that um, no matter what side you would have supported, the Confederacy arguably had better generals in terms of the amount of generals. They probably had, in, you know, in general, better generals. I hate to use those, uh, those two words together. Uh, but yeah, they, they really did. And uh, a lot of these guys went to West Point. A lot of the Union commanders went to West Point as well. So it's interesting to see sort of truly, you know, brothers, colleagues fighting each other. There we go. Flanking shot on Kershaw. And man, did he deserve it. That's got to send him back. But Kershaw is tough. I think Chapman's going to have to get another volley down on him. And even that might not break him. If I was in one of my typical aggressive moods, I'd go ahead and make a charge, but I'm not going to do that. And what do we got here? We got Law trying to make a stand. We are not going to let him cross that bridge. This is a pretty crazy attempt by Law. It's just, you know, it's very hard for them to get through this area. Hold on there, boys. is looking more like a World War One battlefield with all the dead on the field and the tremendous amount of shell holes. Uh, what do we got back here? Ooh, look at that. We got a few more artillery pieces. I think we'll push this guy forward. In fact, these guys may have retreated before from the front line. Push these guys forward, and we'll grab these fellas. And I'm going to put them right up here. Let's see if Randolph is still firing. So I guess we've lost sight of the enemy artillery here, but he is still firing at the enemy infantry. And there we go. Got a massive charge on the right side here, Anderson and Barksdale. Man, you boys better hold your position. We got Buchanan back here just in case, but I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Come on, boys. Anderson's men are just getting whittled down quickly. Forget Pickett's charge. We got Anderson's charge here. But he has made it to our lines. Let's see if he can hold out or if we can force him back. Beautiful. Good work, boys. And get out of here. He's taking serious hits there as he retreats. Just look at those numbers dwindling. All right, McCarthy. I appreciate your interest, but fire over here at Cobb. There we go. Now we got Chapman wavering a bit, guys. I think Butterfield is ready to fight again, so we're going to send Butterfield over here to replace Chapman. We've got a lot of replacements. Two units that have been replaced here with Kershaw. That just goes to show you the, the power of that general, man. He's great. Hey, Officer Donut, right flank, he says. Uh, Ryan Kovald, good old Wink Martindale. Oh, I don't know about this guy, man. That's I love when people, like, let me know about a general that I really have no info on. Martindale, I, I have no idea who he is. You could send a unit across the river to the left and fire on the rebel's flank, says Lion. Could do that, could do that, but I think I'm going to stay put. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and play it safe, as safe as possible. <clears throat> yeah, there's Chapman. I highly doubt the enemy is going to move over here, but I see what you're saying is, like, move this guy over here and fire at the enemy. You know what? You might have something there, Lion. Let's try it. I'm just kind of worried that we're not going to have enough men to reinforce our existing lines, but I think you got a, I got an idea there. Just one unit? Yeah, why not? All right, double quick. On the double quick, boys. We can't have you lollygagging around on this battlefield. There we go. Get right up there to Kershaw. Butterfield's ready to fire at this point. They're loaded. They're primed and ready. 
having to see your brothers there dead on the field ain't fun, but they can get a nice volley off. They can make up for it. There we go. Kershaw's still holding on, though. We're going to have uh, Griffin do a double quick, too. I'm actually tempted. I really liked that um, that idea that Lion had there. I'm tempted to send another unit over here. All right, hold Malvern Hill before nightfall. The Rebels keep coming. They've got courage, all right. Okay, so we've got to hold even more. <laughs> Although it looks like we've got Warren here, so we've got some reinforcements. Uh, and we've got some skirmishers. And you know what I'm going to do with the skirmishers? We're going to put them com under command of Colonel Lyon. We're going to send them over here. What I will do, though, is put Chapman up here because we need somebody to replace Butterfield when he goes down. And he will. He will go down. Sorry, Butterfield. It's just the truth. Kershaw's better than you. Let's, let's face it. Oh, there we go. Kershaw sees that flank. He's way too smart to stick around. <laughs> that's awesome. So that's going to free up some space on that side, man. Lion, that was a great suggestion, man. Definitely freeing up some space on that side. We can get Griffin here. So just in case anybody goes into that area again, they are going to feel the wrong end of our musket. Let's put it that way. All right, hold on now, boys. Hold on now. Stay put. Kershaw's coming back. It's a man that doesn't give up easily, I'll tell you that. Hold, boys. Fire at Sims. Now, Sims has already taken a lot of hits this round. So he might be weak. Even though he's got, you know, about 2,000 men, his morale might be somewhat low. That's what we're hoping for. Here we go, Griffin. Volley. Man, how did you guys not reload while you were over here? Come on now, boys. Let him have it. Look at that. It's one of the few times that we've beaten Kershaw in the volley. Uh, killing a lot more men of his than he did of ours. And we can continue firing. At this point, we can focus on Sems if we want. Or we can even focus on Jones. It's completely up to us. Let's focus on Sems. There we go. And what did I tell you guys? He's already pretty weak. He's going to rout. I knew it. Only 3,000 men. I mean, 2,000 men. It's a lot, but... If, if your men don't have the will to fight, it doesn't matter if you have 20,000 men. They're, they're going to pretty much lose the battle. Let's have McCarthy fire over here on uh, Barksdale. Just because it looks like the enemy is massing here on the right for an attack. So I'm going to try to lay down as much fire there as possible. Uh, let's see if we got any more men. Yeah, we do. Just in case. Got Robinson back here. Bernie. Unfortunately, we're going to have to retake that area right there. It's a pretty important area to hold. So I'm going to put Buchanan over there. He's going to be responsible for retaking the hill. That's right, boys. You can do it. Let's pause here a second. Take. Thank you, man. It's lore reloaded. Reloading is for the week. <laughs> if you guys uh, like uh, science fiction, um, got a lot of questions about like sci-fi, be it BSG, Star Trek, Star Wars, you got to check out Lore Reloaded's channel. Um, <clears throat> he, I actually knew him before as the Gaming Heretic, uh, but he's since changed his channel and he's doing very, very well now. I think this is definitely sort of the niche that he, he should have gotten into. So make sure, guys, on YouTube, check out Lore Reloaded um, and make sure to subscribe. I, I can promise you you're going to like watching his videos. All right, let's get back. Let's do this, baby. The thing about reloading is for the week is funny um, because I can't recall what battle it was uh, in the Civil War uh, in which, and this was maybe like a small, con a small skirmish where there were some Union men holding a hill. They ran out of cartridges and all they had were rocks, and these Confederates were walking up, and they threw these rocks and managed to kill, like, two or three men. You know, because when you're throwing a rock downhill at somebody's head, uh, bad things occur. 
Uh, and the Confederates actually pull back. So, yeah, if you don't have bullets, pick up the next best thing. Skirmishers, let's let them get some shots here. Beautiful. Let's see what kind of rifles they have. Oh, Springfields, come on now. You'd think our skirmishers would have something better than a Springfield. Not putting down the Springfield rifle. It's a beautiful gun, but in terms of range, I think you need like a Spencer rifle, something like that. All right, let's see. I love the uh, the, the comments that the soldiers make. Kill them all! <laughs> Although I think in the same way, like, uh, the recent BSG update added, like, uh, radio chatter. And obviously there's no radios in the Civil War, but it'd be cool to have some more chatter, some some different chatter, let's say. Now let's move these guys back. What am I doing? I don't want to move them out of the woods. Unfortunately, guys, our supplies are empty. That could be a problem later. Let's hope it's not an issue now. But if our... Artillery or our men need some sort of, uh, you know, ammunition. They're, they're going to have to go look for it. Look for it on the ground, pretty much. Come on, boys. Canister. Go, how? We're going to have this gentleman right here, Robinson, take that position. But I don't know how long Howe can hold out with that many uh, units firing at him. He's doing an amazing job, all things considered. Here we go. Beautiful. Kershaw is once again defeated. And I don't think he's coming back this time. I think we damaged him enough. If he does come back, he's not going to be as effective as he was in the beginning of the battle. Like, just about nearly all the men there are from Sims and Kershaw's units. I got to give it to the Rebels. They have fought. They're extremely brave. They have fought with, with total courage. But that's not going to save them. What is going to save them is massive charges over here on the right flank. So I'm going to move Buchanan in there. Uh, let's maybe get Randolph over here. If we have any other infantry, since the enemy's not attacking in this area, I'll go ahead. It's a bit of a risk because they could still attack here. But if need be, we'll move back into this area. But I'm going to move these guys up. So we have replacements on the way. Just hold your horses, boys. Not literally, of course. Move up. We've got some cavalry. I'm going to have to move this guy out of the woods just to um, just to get some extra shots, guys. So let's see if we can go ahead and target Tombs. I was hoping he wouldn't have to cross the river, but I think Griffin might have to do that. Definitely take, doing a risk by, taking a risk by doing this, but I think we need to. There's just too many enemies massing up here. We've got to cause some confusion. All right, nice. We're right on the edge, right on the edge of the river, but this might count as being in the river, and that's never a good idea defensively. Uh, we're going to have to fall back with Warren. All right, Warren, you want to have a shot at a unit that has perfect defense? Go for it. Fall back, son. Let's get the skirmishers over here. Griffin is doing a great job. I definitely see some medals in store for him after this battle if we win. But I'm going to go ahead and move over the skirmishers as well and keep on hitting this area. And look at that. Um, Butterfield and Griffin together, plus the skirmishers, we're going to be able to route Colquitt, I think. He's not completely in the woods, so he is suffering from lack of defense, but so are we. So we really need these guys to reload quickly. Let him have it, boys. Double volley here, and a volley by the skirmishers as well. There we go. Colquitt is leaving that area. Let's see how it's going over here on the right side, though. Oh, boy. How? Take that position. On the double quick, boy. We gotta be serious with our men here. It's it's a matter of life and death. Look at all those rebels, man. It's terrifying. I mean, I'm amazed that they keep coming forward with that many of their brothers dead on the field, but I guess they have a death wish. Come on, Robinson. Thank you, Icon Rostov. Thank you, man. Dante Bueller says, Rebel Regiment by Southern Right Side. Thank you, sir. See, this is why I need you guys here. So we, we got already... Yep, Law's going to try to make it through. Appreciate it, man. Um, 
We're going to be able to stop him, but he might take that position. We're going to go ahead and run. And we'll take uh, Sickles. I was hoping Sickles was going to be able to make it to the field, but I think it's safer if we bring him back here. Really appreciate the generosity, guys. That's so cool. And have, uh, have you guys noticed uh, that the internet is a bit faster? Have you guys noticed, like, improved stream quality? Uh, let me know, because, again, we, we got that new internet, so I'm hoping that our streams are, are going to be a lot better here without any drops, without any frame rate issues. Um, dropping to 144p like <laughs> like we're in the uh, the mid 80s, you know, it's uh, it's definitely uh, definitely looks better this way. I think I think, but again, I need your feedback. All right, hit Sims. Look at this. Sims is back for more. I mean, Kershaw's brave. Sims is just dumb. There, there's he is finally taking cover in the woods. I'll give him that. This was not something he did before. Uh, and in fact, what I'm going to do here is fall back with the skirmishers. We've done enough damage. At this point, we just want to hold out. All right, move Warren up. That's not good. Abercrombie got kicked off the hill. Got to get him. Got to get uh, somebody over there. So we're going to get Chapman. And it looks like Sims is going to go for the charge. He didn't like me calling him names. If he breaks through, I'm going to look. I'm going to look real awful here. <laughs> Come on, boys. Save my honor. Kill him. There we go. Be nice if uh, Sims caught a lucky shot. But I don't think it's going to happen. There we go. Look at that. What did I tell you boys about Sims? Look at that, man. Just let his guys get slaughtered. 2,000 and 1,000 in 30 seconds. Give it to him, Griffin. Yep. I don't want you back here, boy. Get Warren up. Let's see what's going on here. All right. Yeah, we'll be okay. But again, frustrating to have to deal with this guy. And I appreciate that, man, um, letting me know, uh, Dale, uh, Dante, excuse me, uh, about that. Really helps. But again, he's taking us away from the main fight. I like the U.S. Sharpshooters up here on the hill. This is a great location for U.S. Sharpshooters. What we're going to do is move Grover here. It looks like they once again managed to kick us out of this position. We've just got to keep sending as many men as we can here. I'm even going to send in the cavalry. Just to get a quick shot on the enemy. Three thousand men in Grover's units, guys. We, we've got to do something with him. It looks like Trimble took a bullet, unfortunately. But let's see if Grover can't force LZ off. Come on, Grover. If I was really brave here, I would go for a charge. But I think I played the game long enough to know better. Uh, and we're going to get Grover into this position. I just hope that he can get in there without too much difficulty. Be nice to get Rhodes back because I don't want to risk getting into close combat with these guys. There we go. JB Hood is moving back. Unfortunately, so is Warren. I think Butterfield's going to have to keep on firing here. Let's have Griffin fire. Let's bring the Skirmishers forward. And I think Ripley is going to be taken, taken on out of here very soon. We will, however, put Chapman on the barricades there. Man, so many Rebels. So many damn Rebels. All right, I'm going to take Sickles here. Actually, I'll take Carr doesn't really make a difference and uh, move them up to the front lines push Bernie forward Bernie's been extremely brave for our side he's taken a lot of losses but managed to hang in the fight come on Griffin we need that flank and power right here and it's getting dark boys I hope the rebels will give up once night begins that's really the best case scenario look at that oh boy we got Barksdale breaking through we're going to move Warren up. We're going to move Martindale up. And Barksdale's pushing back, but we definitely need somebody to take his place and fast. Uh, unfortunately, Martindale is a serious issue with ammo. So I don't know how effective he's going to be. Now, again, he can still fire. He's just going to fire a lot less. 
Uh, it's going to take them a lot longer to reload because what the game does is it simulates your men actually looking on the ground for cartridges. If they don't have any ammo and they don't have an ammo wagon, they're going to find the next best thing, which is probably lying on the floor next to one of their uh, their their good friends. You know. All right, come on, Martindale. See if Warren can get a quick shot. I'm going to move Martindale up a bit. See if we can break Anderson. Come on, Warren. Show these rebels we mean business. And there we go. Sure enough, Anderson's taking some nasty hits, but he is holding it together. And I think in no small part to the fact that they have a lot of men... And they know if they could just make one final push, they might be able to take that area. I'm going to try to get Butterfield over here. Uh, maybe it's better not even to get behind the barricades at this point. Because the enemy is just going to pepper us with shot as we're moving there. I think Sems is desperate to uh, to destroy us here. He's back in the front lines, despite taking a nasty volley. We're talking a thousand men down in that volley. Yeah, Hood's going to make the push. Now, since Butterfield's out of ammo, I'm considering making a charge here. But he can still fire again. It's just fire a lot less. And sure enough, Hood was not able to break this area. Let's just keep on firing here. Keep bringing Butterfield forward. Come on now, Butterfield. Look for those cartridges. Actually, we're going to fire at Barksdale. I'm going to move Griffin, Griffin up here uh, on Garland. I might even attempt to charge on Garland from the flank. That might be effective. All that artillery that's been firing since the beginning of the battle, and I mean the, the beginning of the battle since morning, um, has finally run out of ammo. It took them a while, but they are out of ammo. We definitely want to keep that in mind. Now, what I'm going to try to do is get Carr here. I think the enemy's going to go for a charge. <clears throat> in fact, we might go ahead and send both our boys in, both of these units, Carr and Bernie, to defend the area. But I'm going to see if it's enough just to send these guys right there. I don't think it's the end of the battle if they take that section because we still hold these two areas uh, back here. But of course, I think it's it's best if we come out of this battle with a total victory. Colonel Governor wound cover, Colonel Governor Warren is wounded. All right, Colonel Governor, eh? All right, let's have ch cars going to charge. And again, I don't like charging with the Union because the Confederates are the ones that get the charge bonus. But desperate times do call for desperate measures. In this case, though, it looks like Carr is going to stop, and he's going for the volley. Now, what about Bernie? Can Bernie charge? Come on, Bernie. They've secured Malvern Hill. We've got to take it back. So we're throwing everything we have at the Rebels. Charge, boys. Get those bayonets out for the Union. There's no way I would have tried this if we were, like, at one minute. But in this case, I'll go ahead and do it. It's getting dark, so it's even kind of hard to see all of the lost... All of the dead on both sides. But it looks like we managed to retake this area. Come on, boys. Move how forward. And we've got them. They're coming back. They're coming back. We need that second volley. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Got any generals nearby? I thought we had... Yeah, we got Porter. I'm just going to get him over here in the center because this is where we really need him. Look at all those rebels, man. That is insanity.
think we managed to hold if the battle ends. If the battle ends here, I think we've managed to hold. Okay, there we go, boys. So we did get a victory. Now, if we look at the statistics, looks like casualties on our side, 12,428 men dead or wounded, 40 guns destroyed. On the enemy side, we killed, killed or wounded 23,600 rebels. Uh, I think accomplishing most of the goals, not too shabby. Uh, and a few officers lost or killed, but c'est la vie. I mean, this is part of battle. It, it's going to happen no matter what we do. Nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed that Battle of Malvern Hill. Um, as always, I want to thank everybody for showing up. I especially want to thank the people, uh, Lori Loaded, The One, and Icon Rostov, uh, a.k.a. Bostova, for um, donating. I really appreciate that, guys. Uh, what I will say for anybody else, uh, make sure to add me here on Twitch. Now that we've got this whole stream thing set up and we're, you know, our internet is running okay, most of our streams are going to be on Twitch. And trust me when I say there, there's not going to be any lag, nothing like that. Um, at least I, I hope there hasn't been any lag during this particular stream. Let me drop that here. Thank you again, boys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below, do all that fun stuff, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you guys want to see some more Civil War action, again, make sure to just hit that like, drop a comment down below. That's going to pretty much let me know that you guys want some more Civil War videos. Thank you again, folks. Take care, and I'll catch you on the next one.